Um, my name is John Porcelino. I'm a cartoonist. I uh, uh, draw a comic called King Cat Comics. It's always the best art. Always comes from the people who you know can't help but make it, and um, it's just something they have to do. I don't know if I'd be doing artwork now if I hadn't met him. Um, there's just there's just so many things that I owe to him. My life would be totally different if I hadn't met him. He's as wise and dumb as the rest of us. I think he's just a little bit more aware. This one here is uh, my dad's favorite comic, so I thought I would include it. Do you remember those hot nights on the front porch when we watched the sky for astronauts and lights flashed along the edge of the city? When we were all together? Do you remember the man in the moon? Or I, I feel like that is eroding, that like medium ground where you could just be a person who wasn't, didn't necessarily have this like elaborate ambition, but yet, you know, didn't want to be, you know, sleeping behind dumpsters and stuff. It's like we're doing this stuff, but it's not because we're great businessmen, <laughs> you know? I didn't think he was crazy until the OCD started happening. Yeah. And like, if I left something on top of something on top of something <laughs> that was on top of something that might be contaminated. <laughs> My life was just getting destroyed. But I, like every issue, I thought, that's it. I, I just can't go through this process again. Whatever small enjoyment I got from making comics was far outweighed by the misery and the like, just pain. It's a it's a document of this person's life, and and I, you know, and again, it's as readers, like you get uh, intimately connected with it, and it's um, I, I always find reassuring when there's one in the mail, and it just makes life seem better <laughs> that that it's there, you know. I'm an artist and a weirdo and I've got a different way that I want to live my life, but I'm not like, you know, 